Hey guys, I'm back with another video of my top 50 songs of 2021, and there were just so many great songs this year that I couldn't have just picked 50, so I put some honorable mentions on this list as well. Starting off with Peaches by Justin Bieber, a great R&B song. Um, no Chances by 21 Pilots, I love that song as well. Uh, Getting Older, a very think back reliable song by Billie Eilish. A Hold On by Adele, a very powerful six minute hope song. And then Don't Shoot Up the Party, which is an absolute banger by Brock Hampton. Now getting into this list, uh, number 50 starts us off with Heartbreak Anniversary by Giveon. 49 is Sleepwalker by The Killers. 48 is That's What I Want by Lil Nas X. 47, John L. by Black Midi. 46, Lumberjack by Tyler the Creator. 45, Shivers by Ed Sheeran. 44, Holiday by KSI. 43 is Tell Me About Tomorrow by Jaden. 42 is Solar Power by Lord. 41, High Forever by The Main. 40, Bird with a Broken Wing by Weezer. Flames by Avril Lavigne and Mod Sun comes up at 39. 38 is Life of the Party by Kanye West and Andre 3000. 37 is See You in the Future by Water Parks. 36 is Levitating with Dua Lipa featuring DaBaby. 35, Mick Jones, Nick My Pudding by the Dropkick Murphys. 34, Loaded Sin by Why Don't We. 33, Rubber Band by Tate McRae. 32, Pollyanna by Green Day. 31, 2011 by Five Seconds of Summer. 30, Dancing in the Kitchen by Laney. 29 is Adrenaline by Zero 936. 28 is The Space by Five in the Morning. Uh, 27, Take My Breath by The Weeknd. 26 is The Story by NF. 25 is Cult by With Confidence. 24 is Gone Away by The Offspring. 23 is Mum by Luke Hemmings. 22 is The Outside by 21 Pilots. 21 is Hold On by Justin Bieber. And heading into the top 20, I'm going to more explain these now. So uh, number 20 is Family Ties with Kendrick and Baby Keem. This is a great comeback for Kendrick Lamar. And Baby Keem even does a good verse on here. And 19 is My Life by J. Cole, 21 Savage, and Morrissey. That song is just so beautiful. It's one of my favorite rap songs like of all time. 18 is Family by Bad Flower. This really impacted me when it came out. 17 is Once in a Lifetime by All Time Low. They literally say the band's name in the song. How can that not be good? 16 is Pretender by The Main. It's super powerful and the chorus is really catchy. 15 is Let You Go by Joshua Bissett. One of the greatest choruses I've ever heard in a song. And it actually made me cry when I first listened to it. Number 14 is Saturday by 21 Pilots. This song I have on repeat the whole year round. And it's just so catchy and groovy. And I love the trumpets that he adds in there. At 13, Machine Gun by Bad Flower. This is such an impactful, powerful song. It's like saying all these problems that build up to being a big problem together. Number 12 is Anyone by Justin Bieber, a cute love song, and I did not expect Justin Bieber to go off with this song, and it's probably my favorite Justin Bieber song. At number 11, though, is Fake Friend by Nothing Nowhere. This song is so cool. The chorus is really great. I love it so much. But heading into the top 10 is Black and Blue by Hurt Wave. This song really impacted me throughout the year, and I had it on repeat a lot. It's definitely one of the songs you can drive to at night, you know, or when it's, like, raining out. And number nine is Good For You by Olivia Rodrigo, a great pop punk track that she released this year. The lyrics are beautiful as well. And number eight is Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo, two back-to-back -back ones. This song really impacted me when it came out. It was just so affecting and so beautiful. Her vocals are amazing. The lyrics are amazing. Number seven is The Last Man on Earth uh, by Wolf Alice. This song, as soon as it came out, I knew I was going to love the album, and I knew I was going to love this song, and I did. So... Six is Starting Line by Luke Hemmings. This song is just, I did not expect Luke Hemmings to break out one of the best songs of the year, let alone one of the best albums of the year as well. Number five, though, is Louder Than Words by Andrew Garfield from Tick, Tick, Boom. That mo I just watched that movie, and this song is already top five of the year. And it's so beautiful. I love it. Um, four, Leave the Door Open by Silk Sonics. Bruno Mars, Anderson Pack do such a good job with the vocal flow, with the lyrics, with the melody. I never thought we'd get this duo, and we did. So it was beautiful. And number three is Easy On Me by Adele, one of my personal favorite songs of all time, and my favorite Adele song. I love that she came back with this song, and her vocals are really mature and beautiful on this up. So at number two is All Too Well, 10 Minute Version by Taylor Swift. I did not expect Taylor Swift to make my favorite Taylor Swift song even better by adding five extra minutes to the track. 
but it was. And then she released a movie on top of it. So this was really beautiful, and I love this song. It's probably one of my favorite songs of all time as well. But at number one is Billie Eilish is Happier Than Ever. Now this song is so crazy because I didn't expect Phineas or Billie Eilish to make a rock song. And they did, and they pulled it off and made the best song of 2021, let alone one of the best songs of all time. Billie Eilish really pulls off her best vocals, her best lyrics. Phineas adds that guitar in there, you know, starting off with the acoustic to like the electric guitar and the drummer. I can't remember his name, sorry, but he has those like terrifying pop punk kind of vibes in there. And the album, it just makes that song so freaking good. So this has been my top 50 songs of all of 2021. Thanks for watching.